If you like this video, please press like and consider subscribing. Thank you. I've been doing so many space videos over the past few weeks that I have totally forgot this channel is about future tech, science and green technology, not only space. So when I came across a really interesting concept, I felt it was important for me to share it with you. A story might not get proper coverage. It really deserves. The world we're living in is changing fast, and as global warming takes hold, many island communities across the globe are facing extinction due to growing sea levels. Maldives, Marshall Islands, Tuvalu and Nauru are just some of the latest island nations that with increased sea levels rises could become extinct within this century. That brings me to this really exciting project by Danish architecture firm Bjarken Gales Group, or BIG, which has designed a concept of a floating city that will house up to 10,000 people, helping the population of the above-mentioned island nations, which are threatened by extreme weather events and rising sea level rises. BIG founder Bjarken Gales unveiled a scheme at the roundtable discussions on the floating cities at the United Nations New York headquarters. Cold Oceanic City. The concept consists of buoyant islands clustered together in groups of six to form villages. These clusters would then be repeated in multiples of six to form a 12 hectare village for 1600 residents, and then again to form an archipelago, home to 10,000 citizens. Oceanic City is intended to provide a habitable offshore environment in the event of rising sea levels, which are expected to affect 90% of the world's coastal cities by 2050. Each of the modules will be built on land and then towed to the sea, where they would be anchored in place. The miniature islands are also designed to survive Category 5 hurricane. This is ideal for Florida and tropics. Bierke in Glaze, or Big, Intents the building are top to be constructed from locally sourced replenishable material such as wood and fast growing bamboo. Number of renewable energy resources such as wind and water turbines and solar panels are also incorporated. Food production and farming will be integrated and follow zero waste policy. Every island has 3000 square meter of outdoor agriculture designed so that it can be enjoyed as a free space. Structures populating the modules will be low level, predicted to rise three to five stories in order to keep the center of gravity. Renderings show that buildings will taper out towards the top to provide shading and extra roof space for solar panels. Each mini village will include a community framework for living, including water baths, markets, spiritual and cultural hubs. But big intense the oceanic city to be adaptable to any culture, any architecture, Another major benefit of the floating city, according to Oceanics co-founder Mark Collins Chen, is that it is an example of affordable development which could offer a solution to displaced societies. <music> <music>